Europe, a lot of immigrants came from countries like Ireland and Italy to live here in Patterson, New Jersey and work in the factories. They came by boat across the Atlantic Ocean. Now, in 1925, my daddy, who was only three years old at the time, came with his mom and his dad from Scundron, Italy. And they came to Patterson, New Jersey to settle on Lower Jersey Street. My grandpa was a ditch digger. That was before bulldozers were invented. And grandpa and other men with a shovel and a pick would dig the dirt to build to make the foundation for buildings and to put pipelines in Patterson, New Jersey. Well, my daddy was only three years old when he came to America, but when he got a little bit older and he went to school, he went to school number two. My daddy grew up, he went to Patterson Vocational High School, and then he went and served in the United States Army during World War II in China, India, and Burma. When the war was over, he came back to Patterson, New Jersey, and he met a lady named Lena, and they got married, and they moved up the street on Jersey Street. In 1948, I was born. Growing up on Dead End Jersey Street at the foot of Garrett Mountain in the 1950s was a, an amazing time and a wonderful place to grow up. Well, Jersey Street had been cobblestone, and they had just paved it, asphalt, making that surface of the road so, so smooth and slippery. Oh, we used to play some fun games. One game we played was hopscotch. Now, you needed a white piece of chalk, and with this chalk, you would draw in the middle of the street a hopscotch box and number the boxes and then there was a shoemaker. Back in those days, people walked all over. They walked to work, they walked downtown Patterson to shop, and Dan the shoemaker had a shoemaker shop on Grand Street. And he would give us a worn out shoe heel that we could use to throw into the boxes when we played hopscotch. Another game we played was a, a jump rope. Well, in those days, when there was electric clothes dryers were not invented yet, mom used to hang clothes outside on a clothesline. And so we would take the rope and we would jump rope <laughs> in the middle of the street. Yes, everybody's backyard looked the same. There was always a clothesline wrapped around a pulley that was attached to a tree in the backyard. Another thing we used to do was roller skate on metal skates that needed a skate cake. We would roller skate up and down Jersey Street all the time. Sometimes even for transportation, we would roller skate. The skate cake was used to adjust the skates so that they would fit onto the skater's shoe. We would ride our bikes, we had two wheelers, with a basket in the front, because mom would send us to the corner store to go buy a loaf of bread or something, and we would have to ride our bike down Jersey Street's Hill to go to this corner store. One of the fun games that we used to play was stickball. Well, this was actually a broom. Mom used to sweep the floor so much that the bristles on the bottom would be would be flat. And so we would take take this the broom, cut the bristles off, and make a bat. Now you had to have a pink Spalding high bouncer. And when you played stickball, first base was the telephone pole. Second base was the manhole in the middle of the street. Third base was the fire hydrant. And 
If you hit this ball and it went to Garrett Mountain, you'd get a home run. In the winter time, when the snow fell, when the snow covered the street, Jersey Street, the snow covered the mountain, we would sleigh ride down the hill on our sleds. So back in the day, when I was a little girl, growing up on Jersey Street in the 1950s, with my friends, we really had a good time.